future of the automobile industry that is electric. President Biden's zeal for electric cars has been tested as the market for EVs is cooling, which has had an impact on US auto retailers. Concerns have been raised by the administration's aggressive push for EVs, which includes the development of production facilities and the creation of a massive network of charging stations. Well, what is the beef going on between the retailers and President Joe Biden? Let's dive deeper. Despite the fact that President Biden supports the project, some contend that it would not be in line with the present tastes and means of the American people. President Biden recently emphasized in a speech the significant amount of public funds allocated to the conversion of auto manufacturing facilities to create electric automobiles. He was proud of the administration's efforts to build a nationwide network of 500,000 EV charging stations. According to Biden, the goals are to create well-paying union employment and help working families. But the reality on the ground points to a different story. The market for electric vehicles has declined, which presents difficulties for American car dealers as they deal with the fallout from this change. The administration's promotion of EVs has drawn criticism for appearing out of touch with the needs and tastes of the typical American. Skepticism surrounds the assertion that these policies will help working families and provide high-quality jobs. The possible problems with electric vehicle affordability are the source of the skepticism. Many Americans are said to find it challenging to embrace this green shift because they believe EVs are more expensive than conventional cars. Furthermore, questions remain regarding the practicality and accessibility of the planned vast infrastructure for charging, particularly in remote and less inhabited locations. Although it's admirable that the administration is trying to move towards environmentally friendly modes of transportation, there are some issues of how it's being implemented. The skepticism is a plea for a more practical and inclusive strategy, rather than a rejection of the larger objectives. In order to fine-tune the plan and make sure that the shift to electric vehicles is in line with the requirements and preferences of the American people, it may be essential to interact with auto dealers and learn about consumer mood. By doing this, the administration can guarantee that the shift is both socially and economically inclusive as well as environmentally sustainable. The EV industry has seen difficulties recently, with US dealers being negatively impacted by a significant drop in demand. Major automakers such as Ford, GM, Chrysler and Volkswagen, along with over 3,000 dealerships, have seen layoffs. These have been mostly attributed to the declining demand for electric vehicles. For example, Ford admitted to suffering a significant $4.5 billion loss in its electric vehicle division this year. 80,000 jobs have been lost globally as a result of President Biden's campaign for electric vehicle transition, raising doubts about the narrative of promised job development. In connection with the issues surrounding employment is the bold strategy to create an extensive system of electric vehicle charging stations. With $7.5 billion set up by Congress for this purpose in 2021, tens of thousands of charges were expected to appear nationwide. But despite the substantial financial infusion, a startling fact has emerged from recent analysis. Not a single charger has been installed. Given that two years into this effort, a significant government investment has produced no discernible results, this presents a difficult economic picture. The lack of consumer enthusiasm for electric vehicles may not come as a complete surprise. For a long time, technical experts have issued a warning against making unrealistic assumptions about adoption rates and fleet turnover, or the rate at which outdated cars are swapped for newer, more environmentally friendly models. In its 2018 midterm evaluation of light duty vehicles greenhouse gas emission standards for model years 2022 to 2025, the Environmental Protection Agency emphasized this and point out that adoption expectations for electric vehicles were out of step with actual data. Even if these difficulties are apparent, it's important to enter the conversation knowing that there are obstacles to overcome on the path to broad acceptance of electric vehicles. In light of the economic fallout and less rapid progress than projected, it is critical to reevaluate approaches and promote cooperative communication among public officials, industry stakeholders, and the general public. A viable future for electric transportation requires addressing the issues brought up by auto dealers and recognizing the financial setbacks. These changes should include raising public knowledge and confidence in electric vehicles, in addition to reassessing estimates. It serves as a reminder that such significant shifts call for a flexible and sophisticated strategy to maintain both environmental responsibility and economic viability. Sales of electric vehicles were for a meager 2.44% of the automobile market in 2016, and early predictions from leading auto engineers were, at most, cautiously optimistic. As stated plainly in the official notice, customers are not buying electrified vehicles at a rate sufficient for compliance. Let's fast forward to the present, when President Biden has been actively tackling the difficulties the electric vehicle sector is facing. 
An executive order on the first day of operation initiated a plan to gradually phase out fossil fuels, which was one of the major actions done. The increase in petrol costs is without doubt one of the plan's most obvious effects. Although this may seem like a drawback, it supports the administration's efforts to choose more environmentally friendly options. It's important to recognize the worries expressed regarding this transition speed though. The administration's open recognition of the sluggish uptake rate of electric vehicles has resulted in a number of growth promoting initiatives. One noteworthy endeavor has been the significant financial support provided for the construction of an extensive infrastructure for charging. There has been some criticism regarding the actual implementation of this strategy, despite the grandiose ambition. The projected outcome of allocating billions of government cash to support the charging infrastructure have not materialized. This has spurred discussions on the investment's effectiveness and the necessity of re-evaluating. To hasten the switch to electric cars, the administration has also entered into financial partnerships with significant automakers. For example, Ford was able to increase its manufacture of batteries by securing a huge $9.2 billion loan. To put this into context, a Wall Street Journal investigation found that this debt exceeded Ford's borrowing during the 2008-2009 Detroit catastrophe by $3.3 billion. Other industry participants, including GM and LG, have received significant money for similar pledges. Similar promises and the resulting partnerships are critical to the advancement of electric car technology, but it's imperative to closely evaluate their results. Concerns have been expressed concerning the industry's possible negative consequences, which could include job losses and production reductions. Considering their possible effects on the labor force and general economic stability, it's surprising that these ramifications have gotten less attention. The path to broad acceptance of electric vehicles is difficult, with both challenges and accomplishments. President Biden's government is taking this approach with a combination of ambitious ambitions, financial backing, and a recognition of the industry's current status. As we move forward, a fair and educated conversation will be critical to ensure a long-term and successful transition to an electric future. The automobile landscape is shifting dramatically towards EVs, fueled by huge taxpayer subsidiaries. While manufacturers make billions, American car dealers and their customers are dealing with the hardship of this change. Many Americans face the stark fact that EVs, which cost on average $56,000, are either financially out of their reach or just don't fit their preferences. One important impediment is the ubiquitous range anxiety that persists, as recharging batteries still takes hours as opposed to the minutes it takes to refill a petrol tank. As a result, 78% of current EV owners use a second gas-powered car to meet their transportation needs. This reality highlights a legitimate problem that cannot be ignored. The ease and comfort of traditional gas-powered automobiles remain. Bidenomics inflationary impacts complicate the prospects for mass EV adoption. Even with hefty public subsidiaries, most people find it difficult to justify investing in a $56,000 electric automobile. The EPA's mandatory goal of 50% electric vehicle sales by 2030 appears ambitious, if not outright unachievable. Critics claim that pursuing such a mandate without caution risks wasting resources and creating severe economic and environmental harm. Auto dealers who have an increasing number of electric vehicles on their premises are pleading with the administration to slow down this rapid expansion. It's not only a cry for sanity, it's also a demand for a more balanced approach, one that considers economic realities and customer preferences. In order to navigate this transformative path, Team Biden must take into account the concerns expressed by both auto dealers and consumers. A more balanced plan, maybe with a staggered implementation, could pave the way for a smoother transition to an electric future without putting existing vehicles and their devotees at a disadvantage. It's time for a debate that takes into account the realities on the ground and ensures that growth does not come at the expense of both the economy and the environment. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our content, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to comment your thoughts below.